Now, opposition people's Democratic Party has lampooned President Mohamed Buhari, saying he acted late in appointing new service chiefs after much damage has been done. The party also demanded the probe of the four immediate past service chiefs to unravel the circumstances behind the security lapses during their tenure. The ex-service chiefs are General Abayami Gabriel Alonishaki, Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Toku Burate, Chief of Army Staff, Vice Admiral Iboke Teibas, Chief of Naval Staff, and Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, Chief of Air Staff. The PDP therefore charged the new commanders to remove terrorists, bandits, and other outlaws ravaging the country from its landscape. Now, joining us live is security expert Dixon Osaji. Well, many thanks for joining us on Plus News R tonight. Thank you for having me. All right, let's start with this. What is your reaction to the service chief's shake-up? Well, uh, my uh, reaction is very, very uh, objective. I think the president has been a stubborn guy for the past six years because I had expected him to uh, do the, uh, carry out this change of guard in the uh, past three years. Uh, because we look into history, uh, the past administration, uh, Bassanja administration, and the good luck versus the uh, late Jadot administration, each of these administrations have about four set of service chiefs. Now we have about six years in line, and uh, some service chiefs are still uh, holding office, despite the state of insecurity, and the president has been uh, talked to by the National Assembly. He declined, and uh, Nigerians called on him to change the decline. Experts call on him, he declined, and uh, he decided to wake up this morning and uh, say it's time up for these guys. I'm not going to say they've not done well, but I'm going to say that looking at the statistics from the state of insecurity, uh, they've really not uh, put in their best from a professional point of view. We thank them for serving this great nation, Nigeria. We appreciate their service. We appreciate their sacrifices. Uh, we, must not, we must not insult them for those 35, 36, 37 years they put in line to put this country in order. But truth be told, uh, the service chief uh, at some point in time uh, went off guard uh, because uh, the threat of terrorism has taken into the clan, uh, kidnapping on the high rise, bandage on the high rise. But well, I will use this medium to welcome the new service chiefs. I appreciate them. Uh, they need to look into some strategical point of view in carrying out uh, this their new call for uh, security professionalism. All right, Dixon Osaji, one thing many looked out for in this new list is ethnic balancing, otherwise called a federal character. Did you see that in this new appointment? Well, uh, I, I think uh, I saw the uh, list of people that came out today. Uh, the new service chiefs are uh, Major General Elio Irabo, Chief of Defense Staff, Atayero, Chief of Army Staff. I think uh, Major General Elio. Uh, it's from uh, the Ocean State, from uh, Delta State. Uh, some papers are saying from Ocean State. Uh, Major General Tairu, Chief of Army Staff, Gambo, Chief of Naval Staff, and um, uh, Marshal AI, Chief of Air Staffs. Well, uh, the first character uh, is a uh, uh, process that uh, people, uh, the presidency or the government usually apply in giving appointments to um, Chief of Service Chiefs. But that is not a good notion because uh, if you want to look into those other characters, Definitely, you might definitely go and pick uh, uh, one of the wrong guys. What we should look at is uh, looking at professionalism, looking at efficiency, looking at track record, looking at gallantry. And the service chiefs, uh, I pray they are not going to pay allegiance to the president uh, because that is where our problem is. We will have service chiefs uh, pay allegiance to the presidency or to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The good uh, professional uh, service chiefs are supposed to pay allegiance to the constitution first and to the people second. Then, uh, thirdly, they can pay allegiance to the president. But here in our own clan, they pay attention, they pay uh, allegiance to the president. And that is why whenever an incident happens, they have to be by the side of the president instead of by the side of people. But we need to revert that, uh, uh, that theory. It's not working for us. It's not making things good for us. But uh, moving forward, uh, I would like to advise the new service chief uh, to adopt a very comprehensive strategy called crime prevention through environmental design. They need to look into this strategy. They need to also look into territorial reenforcement. All right, Dixon, Osage. Territorial Osage. reinforcement is very essential, you know, projecting more forces in the... But do, do you think that with the injection uh, of in, this uh, new board... For example, you... 
All right, Dixon, now just, let me just interject for one uh, minute now. Do you really think with this new interjection, uh, or the new blow, as it were, that uh, we will see the desired change in armed banditry, insurgency, and of course the issue of a herdsman attack in the Southwest? Well, uh, this attack in the Southwest, uh, you know, did not start today uh, because uh, we need to look into history, uh, just like what's happening now in Ondo State and Ocean State. Um, I'm really, really not uh, surprised uh, because uh, the drums of war has been playing around, but we are not seeing it. Uh, a lot of cries. Because uh, if anything has to do with the Fulani Hesmen, you see an immediate alacrity response from the presidency. Uh, Nigerians have been crying for a very long time about some ambushes, some uh, kidnapping, some uh, banditry by these uh, Hesmen. But uh, I'm not seeing any effective uh, response from the presidency. But uh, Nigeria just took his own uh, plight and go to a community and give these guys a vacation notice that he's not going to watch his people dying in the hands of these people. And within two, 24 hours, the presidency responded. It was so amazing. Is it because the president is a full man? Now, we, in 2015, the president says, I am for all and I'm for nobody. That statement for me, I think I'm no longer, buy, I'm not go, I'm no longer going to buy it because uh, it's not for Nigerians, but it's for the full Anish people from my own perspective. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we have been speaking with Dixon Osaji, security expert, uh, to X-ray uh, the new uh, change of guard and what it would tend for the nation security architecture. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.